it all looked cool, but you know me, I gotta take it to the next level. I haven't read this book and I'm not going to. I'm not gonna take the time, it's way too thick, way too many pages, way too many words and not enough pictures. I'm gonna glue all the pages together and make this a solid block with the exception, I'm gonna be able to open the cover, see like this? And I'm gonna cut out inside here to put my reading glasses inside. And then have a lamp coming out the back. Okay, here it is, all painted and dry. It's been a couple of days. I did not paint the inside. I left it shiny so that it would reflect the light out. So let's put this thing back together. We have to wire everything up. I can stick the switch here back through the hole. Now a little something you can learn about electricity here is in America this is a common code that they always use. There's always what's called the hot wire and the common wire and if you take a look right here you'll see that this screw was silver and this screw is kind of a gold color your hot wire always goes here and your common wire always goes here now how do you know the difference in a cord well you take a look at your cord and if it's a cord of any high quality at all like this one is you will notice that one side is bigger than the other. But on this one it's not. And the reason it's not is because it has the ground plug to orient it. Here's an example of a wide and a narrow. See right here? This one is a lot wider than this one. It has those little ears on it. That's so it'll only go in the outlet one direction. Because the skinny side is the hot side and the wide side is the power side. So, the wire on this, if you look at an outlet, now you see this outlet, this side is wider than this side and that's down here. So, if your plug goes in like that, then this wire on this side is your hot wire, which would be the wire on this side of your outlet. Now, oftentimes, that's also called, a, uh, there's, a, there's one that has printing on it. If you look closely at this wire, you'll see that there's printing on one side of the wire. Right along this top edge, you'll see, you might see some white specks. Well, that's printing. That's called a tracer wire. And that, in this case, that's the common wire. So if you go to the other end of the cord, and you look at it, here's your tracer wire right here. You go and look at it. I've got my tracer wire right here on this side. So I know this is the common. So this wire should hook directly to the silver screw. The hot wire on the other hand, which is the one without the tracer wire, will go to one of my two wires on my switch and then the other wire from my switch will go on to the gold colored one. That way you'll be turning the power off instead of the ground off every time you turn the wire, the light off. So when you turn the switch off and the light goes out, there's no power at all anywhere in this light socket. That's a good thing. If you get up backwards, the light will still go off and on. However, this will still be hot. This ring in here will have power going to it. Normally, just the little one in the middle, in the, in the center there, see the little gold-colored one in the middle? That's usually where all the power is when there's no light bulb in there. It's just much safer if it's done correctly. So let's hook this thing up. All right, here we go. We have a complete lamp here. It's got the pull chain. Everything's wired in. All I have to do is put a light bulb in it and check it. So let's do that. Okay, I have a light bulb. I couldn't find one that was still in the bag, so I had to steal the one out of the fridge. I hope my wife doesn't get mad at me. It's still a little warm. That's why I got it in the rag here. Well, let's screw it up in here. And while I'm screwing it, i got to tell you about a test that every single electrical device has to pass. It's called the smoke test. That's right. The smoke test is that when you're done working on it and you plug it in, if it doesn't smoke, then it passes. 
I know that sounds kind of funny, but it's pretty fundamental. So let's see. Let's see if how this works. I'm going to turn the light out. Now let's see if it works. Look at that. Just like that. Off and on. My lamp works. How cool is that? Keep my glasses in here and turn it off and on. It's got kind of a neat look to it. This is going to go by my bed so I can read. 